Hello everyone, today I'm joined by my son Adian today to record this video. He will be partnering with me to record this video. Say hi Adian. Hi. All right, so today we will talk more about interview questions for Terraform. So let's see, we'll probably do three or four in this video. The first one is how do you um, store secrets in Terraform code? Um, the, the better way to actually integrate Vault with Terraform that way, the secrets can can stay involved, and you can just grab it when, when you need it in the code. The other way you can do is you can you can define a variable, and you, you can variable um, define you can categorize the variable as, as a secret, and that will mask the actual value of the of the variable in the logs and whatnot. So that's another another, another way of storing secrets. So that's uh, that's one question. The next question we're going to talk about is um, what is the big deal about um a terraform version 0.13 it's been a while since it came out but before 0.13 uh there was no real way of if, uh, having programming logic in the terraform so you'd have to do all kinds of funny things and work around to do stuff like loops and whatnot but starting from 0.13 you could do for each and things like that so it made it made life for the terraform coders much easier starting from version 0.13 all right, the next interview question you might be asked is if you have two different folders of code, you have folder A that has code, folder B that has a code, but you want to use outputs from uh, from the code of A, uh, folder A, in, in as input to folder B and vice versa. How do you do that? Because the states files are stored differently, right? So uh, there's, it's, been a, it's been a real problem for for a long while with Terraform. I don't know if they've solved it in the recent past, but when I was doing Terraform last, the way the, there were two ways of doing it. We can use something called Terra Grunt. You can look that up. And you could also um, do, do some kind of custom Python code that starts up when you run the code so that the states files are synced up between the two folders. All right, so that was another question. Uh, the last question for this video is, um, um, why do you need uh, data resources in Terraform? Uh, data resources are uh, data that's already available in the cloud. For example, in AWS, you can have a list of AMI regions. That's data already available. You want to use that in writing your, let's say you're creating an EC2 instance. So that that's why you would need data resources. All right, at the end, have to say bye. Bye. Bye.